Hello everybody, my name is Mohit Deshpande, and uh, in this video I want to uh, first discuss uh, what videos are, and we're going to have kind of a change in notation um, before we get into uh, optical flow, because it just becomes easier to work with, it becomes easier to work with and understand uh, optical flow if we have this change of notation kind of thing. So uh, before we can talk about it, though, we have to uh, formally define uh, videos, and that's because optical flow actually operates on videos. So we need to have a good understanding of uh, what is a video before we can really get into optical flow. So we know that we can represent uh, images as as matrices for for grayscale, uh, but but what about video? So what is videos? So to kind of answer that question. Uh, think about some of the videos that you've seen, kind of at like, you know, the movies or on your TV or your computer, uh, tablet, phone, YouTube, and whatnot. So, it, it seems that when you watch a video on YouTube or something, you know, you can pause it and you just get a still, you get a still image, right? And so, what does that kind of imply about videos? Well, you can take like a scrubber or you know hit the rewind or forward button and kind of go through each of the still frames so that is kind of that produces something enlightening about about video and that is a video video is just a sequence of images sequence of images uh, because you know you can pause the video and kind of scrub back and forth using like some sort of scrubber or a uh, or like a fast forward rewind sort of thing, and so you see you know you'll notice that images are or that videos are just a sequence of of images, and and they're played fast enough that they don't look like still images. They look like you know one fluid uh, one fluid motion into what we call a video. Uh, yeah, and this also becomes apparent if you ever have like some kind of sticky notes, like a flip book or something, right? You can like draw each uh, image, and you when you flip through them fast enough, it looks like one continuous uh, animation, for example, like that. So, uh, so, so that kind of helps give you the background for for videos, or just a sequence of uh, images. And in fact, if you've heard of you know something like uh, FPS. Right, that's actually called frames per second, and that's just like the the speed that that tells us how many frames are being shown in in one second. And so, like inside in the context of videos, th these still images, we actually call them frames. So the frames are so we say the video is actually comprised of you know different frames um, rather than images we just say frames and so when you see something like FPS um, that means frame per second that's how many frames are shown in per second and you know you might have heard of values for this like um like 60 FPS is, is a very common uh, is a very common uh, number for, to, to see next to frame per second and that's saying that you see 60 frames in one second that's 60 frames 60 still images in one second so this is moving pretty fast, so the frames are moving pretty fast. So, you know, that's you don't have to, and then you know, can all, you can also have like lower FPS, like 30 FPS or 15 FPS, and it becomes more like as you decrease the FPS, it kind of becomes more clear. Uh, it becomes clearer that you're looking at still, uh, still images played in succession rather than one continuous uh, motion. But anyway, uh, so that's just kind of an intuitive understanding of videos. But now, if we want to formally discuss videos, um, then we have to change the notation a bit. Particularly, we have to go from a matrix notation to function notation. Uh, because if we try to stick with matrix uh, notation when we're discussing videos, then we have to talk about uh, these things called tensors, and that just gets like way beyond this. Go, it kind of gets out of control at that point. So let let's just start with images first. So uh, with images, let's kind of start with images and then convert from, you know, from uh, images to video. We'll start with this notation. So, 
uh, with with images, we know that there, there are matrices, and we, we can represent grayscale images as matrices. And so what we can do is, analogously, we can define a function, we we'll call it capital I, that takes an X and a Y coordinate and returns some pixel value or, uh, or intensity. And it turns out with when it comes with videos, we're only concerned with um, pixel intensities. So we can drop any colors and just consider a grayscale. But it turns out that this is like an analogous notation to, to matrices. So this is, you know, kind of the function notation, function notation here for images. And this is kind of like if you were trying to find like a book or something in a library, whether that's a physical library or like some online library. You know, if we wanted to find a particular book, we need some information about it, like the number, its book number, uh, the the genre, the author's name, or whatnot, and you know, etc. But when we have that information, we can find the book that we're looking for. And each book in our library is uniquely identified by some group of you know attributes or values. Usually, that's something like um, title, author, and and book number, or something like that. So you know, given these, the given like a set of values. If I tell you three values, it points to a unique book. It's never like if I tell you three values, you have two possible books you can choose from. It's always if I tell you some set of values, then you get the um, the unique book. And so think of you know when we're using this notation, think of our library as the image, and that x y is the information that we that we need. And so this function i is kind of analogous to the act of finding a book that we want it, or finding a particular pixel intensity uh, that we want so that's just this so this is saying that at you know at this gets us at we're basically getting the pixel value at x comma y and you can think of these when we when well, the old matrix notation as kind of being the indices so you know if we have an image then we can just like have an image here, and then at a particular location, uh, x comma y in our image. If we think of this as a coordinate plane, there's some pixel intensity p that's there. So uh, that is that. That's the kind of notation for for images. So like you know, given an x and a y, x x and y uh, are are unique, and so we can get you know the pixel value. But for videos. Um, this is a bit different because we can't just use x and y because we have that additional component of well, which in which frame is x and y actually? What in which frame are we doing this lookup? So this works well for a single image, but when we have se a sequence of images like videos, then we can't just use x, uh, y. We need actually one other parameter. I'm going to call that t, and then this will get us you know a particular pixel value, and so. This t uh, represents, you know, where, when in the image, I should, or when in the video, I should say. So this kind of represents a when, in in the, in our video, do we find, do we look, what, at which frame do we find, you know, look at the x and y to get a particular pixel intensity. So this is kind of like a spatial position here, and this this is a temporal position. Here, because this has to deal with the, the spatial positioning of the pixels in a particular frame. This has to deal with when is that frame, and so that's why for a for videos we need three values here um, instead of just two values, uh, two values for images. Because just using x and y isn't sufficient for finding a particular pixel in in the video. Because remember, with video we don't have a single image; we have a sequence of images. So we need another parameter. To tell us where in the duration of the video that we should be finding on this pixel, but anyway, uh, now so for video we need three parameters, and so this is kind of the notation that I'm going to be using for the rest of this uh, for the rest of this course because for optical flow it just becomes easier to deal with uh, the, this I function rather than dealing with matrices, like I said, because then we have to get into tensors and it just gets kind of out of control at that point. But anyway. Uh, so, for you going forward, we'll be using this notation to to look at optical flow. So, um, I guess I'm going to stop right here and do a quick recap. So, in this video, we discussed uh, old videos. 
we, and we define them as being just a, a sequence of frames and the, these frames are just like you can think of them just being still images and they're played so fast we see them appear so fast that they appear to be like one continuous motion they or they, they appear to have motion and so you know like frames per second is a common measure of this and frames per second tells you how many of these frames do you see in in one second so common values for this are like seven or like 60 you're seeing 60 frames in one second so that's pretty fast um so i just kind of give you kind of an in intuitive understanding of uh, videos. Then we moved on to this change of notation uh, from matrix notation to function notation here. So I just described this I function is basically like a lookup table. So we go to, to the pixel at coordinate x comma y in our image um, starting you know at the standard image coordinate system and then p is the pixel intensity that we get at coordinate x y and then for videos, I said that x y just isn't sufficient, so we need a we need kind of a, another parameter t, and that tells us when or, or which frame we're looking at, basically. So when in the duration of the video uh, do, uh, do we look? So uh, move, kind of moving forward, we're going to be using this notation. So uh, so that's where we stop for this video, and then actually in the next video, uh, in the next sequence of videos. I'm going to kind of give you an intuitive understanding of uh, optical flow, and so we'll kind of get through uh, that. So we're going to start optical flow uh, in the next video.